As we approach closer and closer to the start of the 2022 college football season, it is officially prediction season. That means you're going to be seeing predictions for the 2022 college football season from left and right, predicting stuff over and over again. And in today's video, I will be talking about college football players that are going to break out in 2022. I made a similar video a couple weeks ago. I will leave that video down in the description below. Before I move on with the video, however, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's get into it. The first player that I am going to be talking about in today's video is former Arizona State slash Arkansas running back Traylon Smith. Traylon Smith is going to be playing for UTSA in the 2022 college football campaign. You can say that he broke out in 2020, in which in 10 games played, he rushed for 710 yards, averaging 5 yards per carry, and had 5 total touchdowns on the ground for Arkansas. In the previous 2021 season, Traylon Smith in 13 games played for the Razorbacks. He rushed for 119 total carries for 598 yards, averaging 5 yards per carry, and 5 total touchdowns on the ground. He is going to be playing football for UTSA in 2022, and honestly, I think we're about to see his best season yet in his college football career as a roadrunner. I feel like 2022 is going to be a big year for Traylon Smith at UTSA, if he stays healthy, of course, and I have a good reason to believe this. Traylon Smith has never really been a workhorse back at any point of his college football career. He's always been splitting the running back room with somebody else, which of course makes him have less carries. And if you know anything about UTSA football, you know that they love to run the ball, and it's not running back by committee. Their last running back they had was Sincere McCormick, and this guy was a complete workhorse for the Roadrunners. In 2020, McCormick had 249 total carries on the season in 11 games, and in 2021, McCormick rushed the ball 298 times in 13 games played. I feel like Traylon Smith is going to have a similar role that Sincere McCormick had in his career at UTSA, and I feel like he will not necessarily get as many carries as almost 300 carries, but definitely expect him to get the ball the most in his career thus far. With the next player that I have in today's video, it is wide receiver from Oklahoma State, Brennan Presley. Brennan Presley is coming off a 21 campaign in which in 13 games for the Oklahoma State Cowboys, he recorded 50 receptions for 619 yards, 12 yards per reception, and 5 total touchdowns through the air. When talking about returning production for the Oklahoma State receiving room from 2021 to 2022, Brennan Presley leads it for receptions, receiving yards, and receiving touchdowns. Overall, their room is kind of young when you're talking about the guys that actually play a lot, but with the number one guy no longer being there from 2021 in Tay Martin, that leaves a big hole for someone to step up, and Brennan Presley is going to have a big chance to be that number one receiver in the Oklahoma State offense. And I think no matter what, I think his numbers are going to go up, and I think he's going to really show people more what he's about, no matter what. Personally, I think there's going to be more than one receiver in that receiving room that's going to break out in 2022. But if you're a betting man and want to be safe with a bet, Brennan Presley is a very good bet. Flipping over to the defensive side of the ball, going to Alabama, we have Dallas Turner. Now, Dallas Turner was just a true freshman in 2021, and he had a really good season, especially for a true freshman. As in 11 games played for the Crimson Tide, he recorded 30 total tackles, 10 tackles for loss, 8.5 sacks, and 1 fumble recovery. Overall, a great season. And of course, if you know anything about Alabama football, you know they're a top team, top program. They have top coaches, they have top players, they have a top team. It pretty much seems like a for sure deal that Dallas Turner is only going to keep on getting better and better. And I have a really good feeling that 2022 is going to be a big season for Dallas Turner. It just seems like something that's going to happen. I mean, he had a good 21 campaign. Seems like his role is going to be increasing in 2022, which really seems like a for sure bet that this guy is going to have a great year. Also, can't forget the fact that Alabama still has Will Anderson, a top player in college football 
that every team is going to strategically have to plan for every game. And of course, that's going to leave room for players like Dallas Turner to really eat up too. Sticking with the defensive side of the ball, we're now going to be taking a look at defensive end from the University of Oklahoma, Ethan Downs. In the 2021 college football season, Ethan Downs was just a true freshman. And for the Sooners, he recorded 14 total tackles, 3 tackles for loss, half a sack, and one forced fumble. Overall, it was a pretty solid season. Overall, there are a lot of players on this Sooners defense for 2022 that could have a breakout season, as they have a great defensive staff, and of course, they have one of the best defensive minds in all of college football as their head coach. I specifically chose Ethan Downs, as when you've been hearing anything from winter workouts or spring football from the OU camp, it's always been positive things about Ethan Downs and how this guy is going to be a monster in 2022. He kind of fits the way a Brent Venables style defense would be. He seems to be someone that would fit that system perfectly. And honestly, just keep a lookout for him in 2022 as it seems like he could be primed to make his name known and a guy who could be a huge player for the Sooners. On to the final player that I have in today's video. It is wide receiver from Louisville, Tyler Harrell. Now, Harrell had a really good season in 2021 for the Cardinals. He played in 12 games. He didn't record the most receptions. He only had 18 receptions on the season. But hear this, he still had 523 receiving yards in which he averaged 29 yards per reception and had six total touchdowns through the air. For the 2022 college football season, Harrell is going to be a part of the Alabama Crimson Tide, and that is a receiver room that is wide open for anyone to thrive in. And I do think Harrell has a good shot to be one of the main receivers in 2022 for Alabama, and if he is, I feel like you can count on him having a big season. Now, I don't think he's going to average 29 yards per reception like he did in 2021, but if he is indeed a starting receiver for the Crimson Tide, definitely expect a near 1,000-yard season or a 1,000-yard season in general from Tyler Harrell as he's going to be in an explosive offense and paired with the Heisman winner, Bryce Young. Well, guys, if you made it this far in the video, drop something down in the comment section below. Who do you think is going to break out in the 2022 college football season? And before you head out, Remember to smash that like button, turn on those post notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. B. Kelly, out. <laughs>